After wrapping up Matt's case, my brothers and I make our way to Battle Creek for our second investigation of the night. The family has been experiencing activity inside their home that they cannot explain. So I moved here January 5th when my husband went to basic. Everything was pretty normal. Just out of the corner of my eyes, I would start seeing uh, movement sometimes small, like a child, and sometimes big, and sometimes it would dart back. Marissa um, came out and told me that she was having dreams where she was seeing this uh, figure that looked like the Grim Reaper, um, can't see a face, and she would be paralyzed in her sleep, and she would see it go over the baby's crib. She'd wake up, she'd be really scared, but she, she didn't tell us until one day I saw her drawing a picture right here, and she came over and she said, hey, can I show you something? And I was like, yeah, sure, you can show me something. And she said, I've been dreaming about this. January 21st was the day when she finally got sick enough we had to call an ambulance. And it seems like around that time things started happening. When she began having seizures, started banging on the wall. I remember one time they were leaving and all the kids' toys were out here. There's like a, a big like play table and like um, a little walker. And I remember I was facing the wall trying to take a nap to catch up some sleep. And I hear all the toys move. And I roll over and I look and they're all piled up next to the bed. During this time, I think the first month I was here, it was kind of testing the waters with me to see what it could get away with and couldn't. I would hear it pick up the, the bin right next to you, Rocky, and it would pick up the toys and it would slam it down. So then it stopped for a while. And then, like I said, she started having seizures. And then it started banging on the wall. And it would bang on the wall between her bed and my bed. I think the first time it happened, um, she heard it first. And, and she came and said, I saw her and she was standing there. And I thought, what is she doing? And she's like, do you hear that? And I was like, then I heard it. It wasn't super loud, but I heard it was, it, it, banging on the wall to where the, the pictures would rattle. When it happened again, it, it was like, bam, bam, bam. And the pictures rattled and it was so loud. It was like, imagine like, like Sean here, like a big guy just banging on the wall. She's just staring at the wall, um, not blinking, just staring. And her pupils are dilated and I'm like, oh, she sees something, so I'm trying to wake her up. The activity started increasing, the more sicker she got, the more it got disturbing. We've taken video in there of many, many orbs, orbs that had passed in front of um, my camera and say her name, Marissa's name, or when I told it, you're dead, it said, okay, and it started tapping my phone in my hand and I felt it. Is that, um, is that you? Hmm. Is it tapping? Knock her on the wall? Oh, right there, Somewhere right there. Did here. you hear it? You get full body chills here. Like even the heater's on, and I'm starting to do it right now, um, to where your bones are cold. It's so cold. And then I was in there one time with Liam, and he will look at you and he'll be like, Jamie, he calls me Auntie Jamie. Auntie Jamie, stay, stay. I'm scared. And it's like, okay, one time I recorded him talking to him, and I was like, what do you see? Because he'll wake up in the middle of the night and he'll be pointing at the corner at the end of his bed and he'll just be like, you know, and you try to leave and walk out and he's just like, ah. So you have to stay in there with him until he falls asleep sometimes. He's so disturbed and it's really, really sad. But one time I was talking to him and I was like, okay, what do you see, honey? I see you seeing something. He's like, he calls it the sun. The sun? The sun's moving. The sun is here and you can see him tracking it. And I thought, what could possibly look like the sun? And then I thought the orbs because they're really white and bright, maybe that's what he's seeing is the orbs, you know. It steadily increased, but right before it started getting physical, um, we had about four, five, six days of just absolute quiet, and I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe it's gone. Maybe it's giving us a break, I don't know. But then I started feeling over three days, three, four days, the energy starting to kind of pick back up. Little things started happening. I woke up one morning being touched, but it's been in the bathroom three times with me. I was doing something and I could see in the mirror and I saw a shadow cross behind me. And of course I did the whole, you know, moving around to see if it possibly my shadow. No, um, I was taking a shower last week and it knocked stuff off the shelf. And then another time I was in the shower and I saw 
lights through the shower curtain. So the day that everything went really bad to where it crossed the line, when I mean like the touching, um, when Jenna was at work, Marissa had a really bad seizure where she held her breath pretty long. When she came out of it, she couldn't remember more than one second at a time. I was in here and all of a sudden I heard a noise. I heard the door shut and I thought, okay, the babies are in here with me. She's sleeping. Here we go again. So I got up and checked on her. She's asleep. I come back in here and then I heard the knock, 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 knock. Kinda, and it felt taunting. It felt the energy just started. It started to feel thick. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It started to feel thick, and then there was an urgency of get her out. I walked back in here, and we heard something hit the door again. Go back in there. She's still sleeping. She's again two feet from the wall. So I come back out here. Then you hear a thump, and I go in there and I look. She's like, it picked her arm up. She's sleeping like this. It picked her arm up and threw it against the wall. Like she knew automatically that it was not Marissa doing it. So she's sitting in there and then all of a sudden Marissa's arm goes flinging back. And at this point we're so desperate to help her. I'm sitting there going for a while just trying to channel all this God energy towards her, right? My heart starts pounding and I start feeling sick. Like I got nauseous. My heart started pounding, I was losing my breath. I had to stop, I was forced to stop because I literally felt like I was gonna have a heart attack. It was that intense. But I sat down right after and I wrote you guys and I was like, yeah, we need help. I feel like it's trying to hurt her, trying to hurt this family, um, tries to separate us in different ways. It, it seems like it goes for your weakness. Like we each have something different going on and it seems like it will, use that against us. She's going through enough. This family's going through enough. She's going to have surgery soon and we need her in a state that is strong and it just seems like it's just working on her and working on her and working on her. I mean, she's gone downhill quite a lot in the last, since I've gotten here. When I got here, she was absolutely fine. I know for a fact that this thing is feeding off of it. The fear, because she will just be fine and then she'll just her anxiety will just go through the roof and she just gets overwhelmed. And I know there are some entities that feed off that, that energy. The moving, the touching, the noises, the, the speaking, it's the oppression, it's the heaviness and the way it sits on your chest and the way it makes your heart beat. This is what she says it looks like to her. She says she would see the door open and this is when the baby's crib was along the wall. She switched it. And now the bed is along this wall. And it thumps on the wall right there. So that's what she'd see. Turn the light off. <laughs> In here. Play, play, play. Play, play, play. Okay, I'll just shut the door. No, no, don't want you in here. Okay, see that right there? That's, ooh, Lord, it's, ooh, it's right there. Oh, that's right. I felt it. It was all strong right there. Ooh, you have some serious energy, friend, but I don't understand why you're doing these things. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, they can manipulate uh, electronics. Anyway, what I was saying was, before you turned my video off. You see it coming? Oh, it's right in my face. It's right mm -hmm. in my face. It Did just you hear the Marissa? Up. Marissa. So it's listening to me. Okay. Okay. I got your attention now. Please listen. I have no animosity or hatred for you. This is my thing, spirit. You're dead. Hear it? I just okay. heard it. Tapping. It just said, hey. I saw it cross in front of me. I, I heard it hit my phone and go, hey. Oh, this is when she's staring. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> when she's um, got the paralysis and she's seeing it. If we have to put this, the mattress on the floor in the living room, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Can you wake up for me? Marissa. Hi. 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 Hi
she's she's still asleep. Probably seen it. Hey, I'm right here. Come back. Come on. Pull yourself out of it. You're okay. Pull yourself out of it. It's okay. I'm right here. Okay? Me and Jamie are right here. Pull yourself out of it. Come on. Look at me. Focus on me. Not it. Your fingers aren't curled or anything. Okay. I can't come in because of the baby. She will literally not stop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's, and that's where she looked with me too. She could be stuck in and that's home. the wall where it knocks. In a dream. And that's what she does. She just stares. She breathing hard. I'm getting the chills. I mean, it's just creepy. That's creepy. When it takes an unconscious woman and can just attack people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's wrong. You don't. I don't care who you are. You don't go after someone that is not well mentally emotionally or physically but that seems to be it only seems to throw marissa's stuff it only seems to say marissa's name it only seems to be going after marissa and that's the problem for me because she's a great person she don't deserve it hear it that's without headphones i mean that's Oops. There's three bangs. I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up. Yeah. And then here's just noises. There's somebody here with me. Can you knock on something or do something? Let me know you're here. That was pretty loud. If there's a man in here, Hang can you me. come up and show yourself to me? It sort of looked like a shadow that reached out to grab you. Where at? Over here to the right or left? Yeah, the right side. Over here? Mm-hmm. It's up by your shoulder. If you're in here, can you touch me? You're welcome to grab me. If you can do stuff to other people, do something to me. Are you in this room with me right now? Tell me what your name is. How long have you been at this house? Did you follow one of these girls when they came here? I'm just touching my head over here. Alright, nothing up there. Uh, yeah, when I first walked in here, I asked a question. I almost felt like something touched my head right here off towards the right. Yeah, that's what it means to me. It's always touching my head. Always. It's not very hard, it's just. It's weird. Was that the man that touched me? Oh, 
Are you here trying to scare this family? Marissa's going to go through a lot. And she don't need to torment by you. Come show yourself to me. I need you to do something. Sounds like two people talking. If you can move stuff, move something right now for me. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm not here to hurt you. And show yourself to other people. Show yourself to me. Tell me what you want. How can I help you? Probably something like that. Huh? It still feels like it. it. kind of feels like that, you know, when you get that cobweb on you. Mm-hmm. It feels like right here, like on my ear and my cheek. Is there anybody in here with me? Something popped up and said devil. Show the camera. Up right there. Do you think you're the devil? I had a device right here if you try to say something. Tell me what you want. My name's Sean. Tell me what your name is. Do you like being in a house full of women? in the kids' bedroom now. Do you come in here? Axe. What is that? Axe. What does axe mean? Did you die by an axe? Did you kill somebody? They said that you didn't even want us here. Is that true? Are you scared that we're going to make you leave? Let's try this one. See if you can talk through this one. Not 
Now, if you're here, say Sean. I'm talking to Tell me what your name is. Sound like it said Marissa. Anybody else hear that? Yeah. Do you go in Marissa's room a lot? Would you be sad if Marissa didn't come back in this house? Yes. Why do you like Marissa so much? Do you pick on her because she's not strong enough to fight back? Tell me what your name is. Do you think you're more powerful than these women in here? Oh, straightforward. Did you follow one of these girls home? Are you attached to one of them? Are you attached to Marissa? You want me, Rocky, and Josh to leave this house? said kids too. What room are you in? Are you standing close by me? Are you on one of these beds? Did you die in this house? How many spirits are in this house right now? Holy crap, did you hear that? How did you die? Okay, we brought this rocking chair back inside the house. Are there any spirits attached to that chair? Can you go over to it so we can see you, please? Go sit in the chair for me. What about Marissa's bedroom? Are you in here? They say that you open and close that closet. We heard you banging earlier. 
Can you hit something really hard for us? Show us that you're in here. Did Sean just hear you? So far, the living room's the only place I got something. Kitchen. Whoever's in the door frame of the kitchen, can you move to the other side of the door frame? There you go. If you're in the kitchen, please show yourself. Can you go stand next to Jenna? Walk back over here, please. Did you die inside this house? Yes or no? Are you attached to Marissa? Do you stay in this room? you ever walk over towards the baby's crib? You guys want to ask anything? What's up? I've been walking over here by the baby's crib. Who's in this room knocking on the walls? Do you realize that you're dead? Can you knock two times on the wall? Are you waking Liam up at night? You think it'd be too stressful to have her in here during the investigation? I did talk to her earlier about it. She said as long as they don't videotape me and as long as they don't... You want to talk to her about I'll go, I'll go see what she thinks. My name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We've got Jenna in here with us. Can you see us, yes or no?
if you try really, really hard, you could probably communicate with us. Behind you, or that was like it's over by that crib. That's why I keep hearing something over here at this crib. Tell us your name. Are you a man or a woman? Keep hearing like tapping sounds. Yeah, it's over here. We've got Marissa back inside the house. Can you say hi? Let's move to a different room. We're back in Liam's bedroom. Can you talk to us? We got Sean over there. We got Rocky right there. Can you say hi to him? Just do a sweep through the house. Change. Tell us what you want us to change. Do you watch over Marissa and keep her safe? Take one more walk through before we cleanse this house. If you have something to say, I would say it. So if you want to tell me your name, why you're here. If that was you in the kitchen, this is going to be your last chance to say something to me. Is your name Lori? Does Marissa remind you of Lori? What the hell that was? Is there anything else you want to say? Okay, we're going to get ready to start doing the cleansing. Get ready to start and do the cleansing. And we'll uh, see what happens during that. You all ready, Josh? Let me go out and cool off for a second. Okay, Josh wants to cool off for a minute. It's a hot job being a paranormal investigator. <laughs> Well, it's running anywhere from, I don't want to say, 12 to 15, maybe 10. Is that pretty high? Uh, oh, well, once the number goes down, you'll see it spiking. The, you'll see it go crazy here. Hmm. Right now, it's like 9. Go check that bedroom back there. Who is he? Uh, 
I'm Sean, this is Rocky, and this is Josh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Josh, it just said, who is he? Hmm. Walk backwards. That's like the further you Holy get in. Oh, you're right, there's a TV. Oh. Come in the middle of the room. Go over by the baby's crib. Okay, now come over towards this bed. Even though we were unable to document solid proof of a haunting taking place inside the home, just to be sure, we will move forward with the cleansing of the house. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you defend us and keep us safe during this cleansing. Lord, we ask that you cast out all the negative energy inside this house and anything that has attached itself to Marissa or that may be affecting Marissa. Lord, we just pray for Marissa and you keep her safe. And we just pray that you watch over this family and keep them safe. Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Any spirits or negative energy inside this room, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. Close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open. Any negative spirits that are inside this house affecting Marissa, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is Jesus who gives us authority to banish you from this house. Leave this house, leave this property, and leave this family.